this is part two of the Vesper model. Um, in part one, we talked about the different classes. Um, this is the last one written out, tetrahedral, te trigonal bipyramid, and octahedral. So those are the last three classes. So let's talk about how to predict the geometry. So the first is, of course, to draw the lowest dot structure. So to draw the lowest structure, dot structure, I'm going to go back to PF3. And phosphorus was in the center. And, well, let me write this out. So phosphorus is in group 5A, so there's five electrons there, uh, times the fact there's one is five. For the fluorine, it's in group 7A, so there's 7 times 3 is 21, so it's 26 total. So I start by making my bonds. Each bond represents two electrons. So I have used uh, eight, so each bond is two electrons. Each is two electrons also. Okay, so I used up six, leaving me 20. And so I start 2, 4, 6, <clears throat> 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So I used up 18. And I still have 2. When I look, phosphorus only has the 6. So the 2 go on top of phosphorus. Actually, if I have any, it doesn't matter. If I have any extra electrons, then the fact that there's 2. So that's actually technically the first step is to draw the lowest dot structure. So determine how many electron pairs are around the central atom. So as I said before, um, I would say that this has three outside atoms. And I get that by going one, two, three. So I'll go over this in green. Three outside atoms. Okay. And then this also has one lone pair. Okay. And then basically um, choose the main group. Okay, so I add up the 3 plus the 1 gives me 4. So that means my main group is tetrahedral or family, class, however I want to think about it. Okay, this is the class. All right, and then choose the shape based on the number and location of the lone pairs. Okay, this is a good place to do memorization. So... <clears throat> When I want the molecular geometry, what I'm looking for is this that is circled in red here, okay? So the class, which is not what I'm looking for, class slash family, however you want to think about it, is this, okay? So this is the class slash family, capital letters, not the answer. Red. This is the answer. Okay. Now you will notice that the first one, of course there's only one linear, but the first one in the list is the same as the class name. Okay. And so in the last molecule I just did, okay, um, I'm going to call this the outside atoms, and this is the lone pair. So I had, I knew I was looking in this class because I had a total of four. So the three and the one meant that PF3 is a trigonal pyramid. Okay, just like NH3 is. So another example of this is PF3, okay? All right, and so basically I suggest note cards or however method you want to remember. But what you have to know is three and zero is trigonal planar. Two and one is bent. Four and zero is tetrahedral. Three and one is trigonal pyramid. Two and two is also bent. There's two bents. There'll also be two linears, okay? Those are the only two that repeat, all right? Going down. So the next class is the uh, trigonal bipyramid, and so you'll notice that um, 
this is still the first one there. Okay. X represents the outside atoms. Okay. And so I have five and zero is trigonal by a pyramid. Again, this is outside atoms, and this is lone pair. Four and one is seesaw. Three and two is T-shaped, and two and three is linear. This is called a seesaw because when I draw it, these two are my seats of my seesaw, and these two are my legs, and it flips back and forth. Um, you can see that for this one, it's T-shaped. Here's the uh, top line, and here's the line coming down. So if you rotate this 90 degrees, and here's my second linear. Okay, when I have three, I'm sorry, two outside atoms and three lone pair. So again, you just want to memorize that three and two is T-shaped, four and one is seesaw, two and three is linear. Okay, so that's the memorization or practice of it. The last class, like I said, we don't do all of the possibilities. We have octahedral. So we have six and zero is octahedral. Five and one means we take off one of them. It doesn't matter which one, it becomes a square pyramid. And four and two is square planar. And so those are the only three that we do those. And in the next video, we will actually practice